Hey guys, it's Daily Smile, your friendly neighborhood dental student. You know, I've been talking a lot about how to maintain and protect your teeth through oral hygiene, but today, let's talk about cavity. So, without further ado, let's just jump into it. So, here is a picture of a tooth. Tooth consists of three layers, innermost being the pulp, which consists of vessels and nerves, and the one that covers the pulp is the dentine and one that covers the dentine is called enamel. So there's three different layers. Cavities, as we all know, is from plot that you may forget to brush away or floss away or rinse away, and they slowly melt away that tooth defenses. And depending on where this cavity is located, we categorize them in stages. First being where the enamel is, and second stage being inside the dentine. And then the third stage, it's pretty much inside or touching the pulp. From what I learned, uh, we call C1, well, we can call it the stage one, is where the cavity is located in the enamel area. And we also have the C2, or you can call it the stage two, where the cavity is located in the dentine. And C3, you can kind of guess where that would lead to, right? And the pulp. So if we go back to C1, you can see that this cavity it has penetrated in the enamel but hasn't gone through the dentine so that means it's a pretty small cavity you may think that oh since you have a cavity you need to remove it well not necessarily and to make this a little bit easier let's bring in a picture so if you look at this picture you see that very small molar or premolar and on the very edge you can kind of barely see the brownness on the tooth fissure if you have cavities like that which is C1, which is only in enamel. There has been a study where cavities could continue to melt away or it could just stop. Because of this, there has been a controversy among dentists whether to treat the tooth or just wait and see what happens. You may think that, oh, it's a cavity, so you need to treat it, but not necessarily. Once the cavity has just stopped progressing, the tooth is completely fine. It's not gonna go any further as long as you keep your oral hygiene. This also comes down to patient and how their oral hygiene routine is. Because if their oral hygiene routine sucks, then maybe it's best to treat this tooth. But if the patient's oral hygiene routine is very good, then it's worth a shot to tell the patient to, let's see, let's observe it and have you come in in three months instead of every six months. This is where um, people go to different dentists and this dentist says, he said I have two cavities, but this, per this dentist told me I have three cavities and that dentist told me I have five cavities. This is where number of cavity comes into play. Yeah, because some dentists might see such small lesion and they will think that, okay, from my experience, it's best to leave it and observe it because these cavities tend to just stop progressing. And some dentists are like, oh, since it's a cavity, we need to get this treated right away. And speaking of that, C2, where the cavity is located in the dentine. Now here, if you go back to our picture, the two molars, let's look at the middle tooth if you look at the middle tooth there's a lot of black lines and this one is much more distinguishable if you look at it very closely you can also see kind of like a shadow see this is how you know that this cavity is in the dentine and here you may face some sensitivity on the tooth it's not consistent but you may get a sensitivity when you're eating certain food if you have c2 you need to get this treated right away because as soon as the cavities had entered the dentine layer cavities tend to spread out and because it spreads outward in the dentine you can see the shadow on the top of the tooth surface. Since the cavity is spreading wider in the dentine, you wanna cut this off as soon as possible from spreading even further. This is a typical cavity where people come to the dentist and get it treated. But you know, your typical restoration like composite, GI, gold, or inlay. Now on to C3 is when the cavity have entered the pulp and now you're crying because you're in pain. And let's keep it simple. When cavity have entered the pulp, the most likely treatment is going to be root canal. And as we all know, root canal is a very serious treatment and also a very expensive treatment. That's why I want to just hammer down these oral hygiene instructions to help you guys 
to protect and maintain your teeth for you to not get a root canal. Guys, just because you learned something from this video, don't go arguing with your dentist whether to get your tooth treated or to wait and observe because dentists make treatment based on their experience and their knowledge and they're pretty much customized for you. So have some trust in them. But if the dentist do show a picture of your tooth or an x-ray and then if they explain that your cavity is only in like say enamel, maybe you can suggest them that, oh doctor, um, I read or watched somewhere where cavities could stop their progression. Maybe could we maybe observe this tooth? I'll brush and floss and rinse very well and instead of six months I'll come in in three months to just to see how this tooth is. You can maybe give suggestion to the dentist and I don't think any dentist will be offended by that. I think they might you know cooperate with you instead of you just like arguing with them saying no, I read or watched somewhere that this you don't have to treat this tooth. Don't do that, guys. We're, we're also human beings. We have feelings too. Really hope you learned something today. I really appreciate it if you can leave a like. And if you want to learn more about dentistry, maybe you can subscribe. And until next time, peace.